the preacher isn't getting all sweaty and impassioned in the pulpit. It's a, it's a preacher, not a pastor. And, um, yeah, no black people. <laughs> no black people in that church. I, I grew up watching, oh, that got a tip. No black people got a tip. Was that a, a dollar or a... Oh. Benjamin? Okay, hey. <laughs> I'm not showing titties or giving a number, but you can still give me a tip, honey. Oh, where, where was I? Oh yeah, Christianity. Um, yeah, Church of Christ didn't have any of that fun stuff, okay? We just waited through the service and suffered through it. It was like the DMV for Jesus. But and here I am now, y'all. I'm doing stand-up. We made it. And it's, I love it. I love Atlanta. I love this room. I love doing comedy. I love all the people. It's a place. Oh, thank you. Let's hang out after this. Yeah. <laughs> so, I brought sleeping bags. We're, this is a, a lock-in tonight. Y'all remember lock-ins at church? Lock it up, baby. Lock it up. Um, God, I keep losing my train of thought. This is great. Uh, um, I'd rather have a train of thoughts, you know? Hey. I think it's like this girl right here. Hey. What's up, y'all? <laughs> okay, you got to get on the back there, honey. Yeah, um, take out the pasties, just take out the pasties. Um, yeah, I mean, it's, it's great to be in comedy where you don't have to be filtered anymore. You can really be yourself, but my therapist tells me I'm a little too unfiltered. I, I, I'd agree with her, y'all. I'd agree with her. There's a lot of times I just overshare and really put my feet in my foot in my mouth. Um, I'd rather have someone else's foot in my mouth. <laughs> like, I'll give you an example. The other day, I, 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 I came across a homeless man and he came up to me and was like, can you spare any change, sir? And instead of telling him, I'm so sorry I don't have any cash, like most people would, I said, I'm so sorry I don't have any ones. <laughs> like I could have just phrased that. I didn't want to lie to him. I had cash, but I basically just told him you were not worthy of my buys and tens. <laughs> You know, we gotta think about our words. You know, we're all about sharing and expressing ourselves, but sometimes silence is empowering, you know? Um, it messes me up with uh, trying to get guys to. It's like, the other day, I, or today, really. Um, this happened today. Uh, you know, this one guy I was trying to, uh, to hook up with and all, where he was like, well, what about tonight? You wanna get together tonight? And I was like, no, I got a show tonight. And he was like, Nothing sexier than the confidence to get up in front of stage and tell jokes, and I, I was like, you know, that, I don't really know what to say to that. Uh, so I just said, yeah, nothing sexier than the constant need for validation. <laughs> I, I have not heard from him since. I, I have not heard from him since. You know, um, he couldn't handle it though, you know? It's like, a lot of guys just can't handle cancers like me. I'm a cancer. And I, I get down, you know, our symbol is 69, our mascot is crabs. Hey. Um, and it killed my mother, too. Hey, we're really getting down. Um, but, uh, I've been there. Uh, cancers are really emotional. There's definitely, like, I, I am such a cancer in some way, in so many ways. Like, there's this one girl about to do a number to Kate Bush, and I'm so excited for that. Um, <laughs> But I don't agree with everything with, that they say about cancers. Like, like they say that we're homebodies. We like to stay home all the time. And like, that is not true. I'm out here tonight. I'm out every night. You will see me on the dance floor, honey. Uh, they also say that we'll knock your lights out if you fuck with us. I've never been in a fight in my life. And they also say cancers are like oversensitive and take things too personally and hold grudges. But anyway, I, I was getting my tarot cards read by this street boy. I had a rave for this one time, and he was telling me, like, you know, cancers are like the crab. They like to jump from shell to shell, seeking different options. And I was like, that makes sense. I have been jumping from shell to shell, seeking different options. As far as I can see, they've got the lowest gas prices in town. 
that's dumb. That's dumb. Um, can, I, uh, can I do one or two more things? Um, can I talk about Will Smith? I, I know we've heard a lot about Will Smith. Uh, I, all right. I, I just got. I, it's not even a joke. I just want to make a point. Okay. Let me preach for a second. Uh, whatever you, however you feel about Will Smith, what happened at the Oscars Sunday night, um, you know, have your opinion about it. It just sucks that that took all the attention away from Troy Kotzer from the movie Coda winning Best Supporting Actor, the first deaf male actor, not the first actor, the, the mother in the movie won Best Actress back in the 80s, but he's the first male actor Deaf male actor to win an Oscar and gave an acceptance speech in ASL. And it's just like, how does someone overshadow that? I guess when there's a will, there's a way. Okay. All right, well, I think I need to wrap this up. Um, are we show running? I didn't, can I put this back up here? Can I do one more? Can I do one more? <laughs> Yeah. Happy spring, everybody. Um, are we ready for Pride season? Like Pride month, Pride month, I mean, yeah. I'm kind of over Pride. I was just born that way, you know? Uh, like, my birthday's July 1st, the day that Pride is over. Um, my stepmom got me a birthday gift from the Target Pride collection uh, last year. Y'all remember that shit? I just slapped my rainbow. Like, I, I, I'm gay as shit, but don't buy me no rainbow shit, okay? She got me this rainbow pillow that said, love is love on it. And a PSA, y'all, love is love is the gay live, laugh, love. Right? I am just not decorating my home with such basic baggage. I tried to donate it to the Lost and Found Youth Thrift Store, you know? They didn't want it either. 